Um, what's up guys, Bonkaku Biners, back again with another Transformers video review. This time I'm doing Hunt for the Decepticons, Battle Boy Bumblebee. And I gotta hand it to you guys, um, I loved my, uh, Stealth Bumblebee, matter of fact. I loved my Stealth Bumblebee so much that I bought the 2010 Red of the Fallen Bumblebee, just so I could switch out the heads. Goes to show how much I love this figure. Turns out, when this came out, it w it was it featured a totally new transformation and a totally new robot mode. And I gotta hand it to you guys, this one stole the show. I really, really like this. And, like, no mere words can... I always say that. But, you know, yeah. Words do not describe the love for this guy. He's awesome. He rolls pretty well. So, yeah. And he holds together a lot better than the than the original molds did. And you, if you look underneath, you kind of see his head. Which there's something I like. I really like about his head. I haven't tested it yet. They can swap his out his head out with uh, the original Bumblebees. But you know, I I might just we might just discover that when I get him in a robot mode. So yeah. Uh, Transformation into robot mode. You're gonna open the doors. Okay, that's weird. Uh, anyways, uh, you're gonna come back here and you're gonna split this in half, unlocking all of this. You're gonna pop that up and you're gonna fold it up like that. Um, fold these pieces out to the side like this. He's he's kind of got a bit of a human alliance bumblebee transformation, but you know slightly different. Um, you're gonna untab it from there. You straighten out the entire leg, and just like the original bumblebees, just pull out the leg and that's a complete leg. Come up here, and you can, you can fold these all the way out like that. Do the same to the other side. If you guys can't hear me, I am sorry. I've been sick the last couple of days, which has kind of been killing me. But you know, I'm doing the video. I'm managing. I'm gonna be okay. So yeah, um, th that's what the back of his feet look like, and like, I just love the way, like, you can already tell that this is starting to look pretty epic. Um, yeah, you, then you're gonna come underneath here and you're gonna lift up his arms. You're gonna. Fold these wheels back. Pull his arms out by the shoulder and rotate them at the shoulder. Rotate the arm. Uh, uh, rotate the arm guards like that. that piece out, pull that out, kind of got to reach in here and push out the Autobot insignia thingy, bring this entire piece down, tab it on. 
straighten up his head a little bit. And then you're going to fold that. This is going to come up and then it's going to fold kind of like that onto, onto his back. And then all that's really left is flipping out his hands and adjusting his chest. And I love the way you adjust. And I love what you got to do to adjust his chest. You got to pull these out and then angle them up. And then you got to angle these to where they're at a diagonal. And that's what I really think completes the robot mode. Because he's always had the. He's always had the like the front part of the car as pectorals, which is something I thought was pretty cool. And there's Battleblade Bumblebee in robot mode. And just to see the epicness, um, here's uh, the Battleblade Bumblebee, and here's the 07 movie Bumblebee. He definitely gets taller, and he definitely looks a lot better. I really like the way he looks. And if you want to... And I'm just going to see if this actually works. If it doesn't, oh well. Pull off the head. Okay, looks like it doesn't work. Well, it works for this head, but this head isn't going to fit on worth a crap. So, yeah. Half half works, half doesn't. So, yeah. Uh, and one last thing before I go. The batteries are kind of dying, so i got to make this quick. Um... His arms both hide his weapons. This one splits in half. You can fold the arm in, and then this piece flips down and around. And then you can close that back up, and lo and behold, he's got his movie accurate arm cannon, which is something I think is pretty beast. And then over here, you push this little button right here flips out a, a solid blue piece and then you f complete the look to get him his arm blade his solid translucent blue arm blade and if you don't think that that's enough for you to make you want to buy this figure this figure at the head also comes with a flip down battle mask so yeah, you can pretty much customize your Battle Blade Bumblebee in any way you want. Give him any kind of look you want, because he's just that cool. Whereas with uh, the original Bumblebee, you kind of had to buy different figures to get different heads. So that you could swap them out on different bodies. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh... Battleblade Bumblebee is pretty much replacing Stealth Bumblebee. And look forward to a review of Stealth Bumblebee by Jake6948. Bye, Binders, signing out.